This is big breaking emergency news. We are now seeing a potential compromise of the U.S. government systems. We are seeing multiple different U.S. government websites and systems being taken offline all at the same exact time as Biden was issuing his State of the Union address last night. All right, so this could have been an attack. This could have been a hit on our critical infrastructure and on our security agencies. This hit the DHS, this hit ICE, this hit FEMA, this hit the Secret Service, right? All of them went offline at the same exact time and it's very suspicious what's going on. Was this another cyber attack? We're seeing all these outages that are occurring and we see outages in Facebook, Instagram, AT&T outages have been happening, right? This keeps happening for some reason and it seems like there are compromises inside of our critical infrastructure and inside of even our US government now, right? And to access these servers that are being accessed and potentially being shut down or disrupted would be very high level access and would require high level security clearances to have access to these, right? So it could have been somebody that has clearance or it could have been an outside foreign source as well that is causing these disruptions, right? So lots of big stuff going on and we could see the big one. It seems like they're doing dry runs to see which back doors that they've installed, pre-installed, or that they've tried to get people to install covertly. They're trying to see which back doors are actually working, which ones can be activated in time of a crisis or a war or an emergency. Because that's the key here is that we're gonna see a major disruption and then possibly something very big happen in the aftermath of these disruptions right very big this is what they would do they would wipe out communications and responses and then an attack would happen so we cannot respond properly all right so let's dive into this news here please hit it up for me down there hit that like hit that subscribe post on multiple videos a day keeping you guys updated on this big news here all right let's dive into this news and really quick too this is happening nationwide as well they're is a major cyber attack that is still paralyzing the largest U.S. healthcare payment system in the country, right? You remember that the pharmacy is being affected. This is affecting everyone. This is affecting doctors. This is affecting hospitals. This is affecting clinics. Nationwide, they are still dealing with this urgent issue. And now we have Secret Service, DHS, ICE, all these different government agencies potentially hit with a cyber attack as well and all of their websites going offline at the same exact time but check this out really quick right it says a urgent care chain in ohio may be forced to stop paying rent and other bills to cover salaries this is because they cannot process payments right now from this major cyber attack it says in florida a cancer center is racing to find money for chemotherapy drugs to avoid delaying critical treatments for its patients and in pennsylvania a primary care doctor is slashing expenses and pulling all of her cash including her personal bank stash in the hopes of staying afloat for the next few months these are just a few exam examples of the severe cash squeeze facing medical care providers from large hospital networks to the smallest of clinics after this major cyber attack two weeks ago all right so this is what's happening in our country these attacks are happening consistently and constantly and right now we are seeing a potential attack on our u.s government and this the timing of this is very suspicious this started when biden started his state of the union address last night we saw a major crash of the websites for the dhs the department of homeland security ice immigration and customs enforcement fema Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Secret Service were all down and they don't know why these websites all went down at the same time. Also, United States Customs and Immigration website was down as well. All right, so all these went offline at the same exact time. Very suspicious, very strange. Was there a backdoor compromise 
of one of their main servers that these websites all operate on all right do they have different servers that's even more concerning if they all are operating on different servers and then they all went down and all of these servers have been compromised either way very concerning and very sketchy and it seems like they are doing dry ones to test these back doors that are already inside all of our systems right so get prepared now get stocked up now get ready now for the big one right we've seen all this pre-programming as well in movies right leave the world behind you remember that movie that came out a few months ago with julia roberts and was executive produced by the obamas right something's going on here something is happening they're warning us they're signaling us they're telling us what's coming something is coming soon and they know about it they know right sis has been issuing these urgent warnings the fbi has been issuing these emergency warnings as well and the closer we get to 2024 the end of the year november 2024 the more likely we could see a big surprise and a big event pop up on the horizon that could cause major disruptions could cause delays we could see suspensions of 2024 potentially if things are bad enough and these back doors are already there they're already there right so please hit it up for me down there hit that like hit that subscribe make sure you guys are getting ready and our power grid is at risk as well too right if you didn't see yesterday I posted a video how they are now warning there's a major blackout going on and they are now warning that their electrical equipment was the cause of this major fire that happened in Texas, right? And potentially there were compromises in that. So, and this keeps happening with our electrical grid and with our power grid and with our critical infrastructure. It was also just reported there was a major inspection in of our u.s ports and the cranes right and they just finished this inspection and they found out that hundreds of cranes at major u.s ports have chinese spyware and chinese malware they were suspected of this they were ordering a replacement of all these cranes and they were doing an investigation with the coast guard cybersecurity unit and they actually recently just came to this determination in the past few days that hundreds of U.S. cranes have been transmitting information back to China and have been scanning all of our shipments and all of our shipping containers that go in and out of the country. So they potentially have pre-advanced knowledge of things that are leaving and entering our country. Right? They have pre-advanced knowledge of this because they are scanning it. They know if we're sending military shipments somewhere. They know if we are getting shipments. They know if we are trying to sneak things in. There's a national security shipment being imported through the ports. All these things are being scanned and potentially compromised right now. And they can also potentially turn off these cranes and turn off our supply chain and our ports at a moment's, moment's notice. Right? That's what the Coast Guard has been investigating for the past few months now. Biden signed an executive order on it a few months ago. I covered that as well, how our supply chain could be stopped overnight because they have these back doors in all of our ports and they're forcing them to replace the cranes at every single major U.S. port, shipping port. This is happening right now. Hundreds and hundreds of cranes being ripped out and replaced with American-made cranes because there were these Chinese ones have malware, spyware, and have been scanning and tracking our sensitive data, right? So imagine that with everything, the phones, there's backdoors in all these phones, there's backdoors in the Wi-Fi routers, a lot of them are made overseas, backdoors in the computers, there's backdoors in everything, even things like your refrigerator, your dishwasher, all these things now connect to the internet, right? I don't have anything like this, but this is the future now everything's connected to the internet they have refrigerators with tvs on them now if you've never seen these things it's like a smart tv on your refrigerator connected to the internet it's tracking everything but the point is that 
these devices that are all connected to the internet now can now be co-opted and taken over and be used for DDoS attacks, denial of service attacks for these websites and for these critical services. There are now millions of, quote, internet of things that could be used to overwhelm these websites. They can all go to the website at the same time and they can be hacked and taken over and the back doors are in all those as well. And this is not even accounting for AI, okay? We also have AI being unleashed onto the public, which can be used as a tool, but there's also downsides to it where it is now creating this advanced uh, computer language codes that they are using for cyber attacks and for hacking capabilities. They are now using it to crack into systems with AI and they are also using it once they are inside the systems, they are creating uncrackable codes and unreadable computer languages, foreign computer languages that are generated within these AI generators, right? Completely foreign languages that nobody knows how to interpret or use computer languages that they're putting on top of people's operating softwares as well to lock them out for these ransomware attacks. So they're almost impossible to get through, right? They're, and that's just low level, right? They're using this AI to write hyper advanced code and to accelerate these cyber attacks and to get into these back doors as well, right? So there's all these different things hitting us right now. And that's why when we see a major outage of the FBI, the DHS, the Secret Service, ICE, everyone going offline at once, very suspicious and very concerning because if they did get backdoor access, if they are able to compromise these servers and access the encrypted information of it, then they could also use that information. There could be national security threats, national security risks information in there. And then there also could be more login codes. There could be more backdoors and more information. Somebody's random email login that they found in there, somebody's password. And now they're using that to get into another system, another critical government system. This is how it works. It creates a spider web. There's, there's one compromise and then there's a hundred spider webs that are created from that one compromise of other compromises and then those webs lead to other compromises as well now they can get into somebody's email now they can get into now they have this other code and now they can get into now they have access to a nuclear power plant okay this is the level that we are dealing with now they have access to national security briefings that the president is holding okay is is being issued this is the level we are dealing with here everything's online and we're moving towards an era where we could see everything compromised and the solution, the aftermath is going to be to have digital IDs. They already, the FAA already passed legislation for this last year. I covered it, all right, end of last year. They took over the internet and they're waiting for this to implement digital IDs so they can track and trace everyone. So there's going to be a sectioned off internet. So I'm like, this is the United States internet. Nobody can enter it or compromise it. Nobody can come in or, in or out unless they have this digital ID. That's how things are going to be set up. So they know, all right, this is coming. There's no VPN. There's no hiding your IP or anything like that. They know it's coming from this digital ID, this attack, this compromise. And we're going to find you and shut you down and walk you out of the internet. And then it's that's going to be the big overarching story to keep us safe. And then it's going to be used to shut down people offline, completely off the internet. And completely deperson people and wipe them off the internet. All right, so make sure you're getting prepared. We need to be creating these alternative systems in our communities we are going hard. We have over 50 chickens, all right? We're turning into a little chicken hatchery, chicken farm over here. Pretty much that's what we're working on. I'll keep you guys updated on our goals here and what we're doing, but that's what we're working on for our community. We're gonna have a ton of eggs. We're gonna be providing eggs, providing chicks, 
providing value for people in our community, bartering with people, trading with people that have meat, trading people, trading with people that have dairy. All right, we're going to get some goats. We got our gardens going. This is what we are working on. We're creating these alternative systems. So if it hits the fan, the grid goes down, grid goes offline, we are good. We still have real world things going on that are going to keep going. The, it's going to keep going. The chickens are going to keep laying eggs no matter how many cyber attacks they issue. All right. So get set up now. Get ready now. Get prepared now. Please hit it up for me down there. And I hope you have a big old blessed day.